What's up, everyone? Dr. Shaw here. Welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee. Dr. Maxfield is out of town for Thanksgiving, so I'm doing this one again solo. So since we're wrapping up 2020, which has been a crazy year, also been a crazy year for skincare, I figured I'd kind of go over some of the big things that happened in 2020 in the skincare world. And since I always talk about the worst skincare trends, I figured I'd talk about the best skincare trends of 2020. So what are the best things that happened in skincare in 2020? That's what we're getting into today. So here we go. So just my personal opinion, but I think it's been a huge year for skincare 2020. And the reason why I think because of COVID, people are locked in their apartments, they're focusing more on self-care, they're looking in the mirror more, they're not traveling as much and meeting new people, so they're wearing makeup less. They're having all these Zoom meetings where they're constantly looking at themselves in a camera. And I think a lot of people started to focus on having healthy skin overall. A lot of people have been on their phones lately, flipping through TikTok, learning skincare advice. And so I think just in general for the skincare world, it's been huge. I think it's almost been like a paradigm shift from makeup to skincare. Um, of course, makeup will always will always be a will be a big thing, but I think skincare is really taking off in 2020. So best skincare trend in 2020 is skincare in general, uh, hands down. But we'll get into the what I think the real the real skincare trends are. So a big one for 2020 has been tinted sunscreens. So why has it been a big year for tinted sunscreens? Well, a lot of new research has come out to suggest that visible light, uh, which is not just UVA and UVB light, which our sunscreens historically protect against, but visible light also plays a role in hyperpigmentation and potentially making your skin tone look uneven. And so tinted sunscreens, many of them contain iron oxides, and iron oxides were found to actually decrease the hyperpigmentation caused by visible light. And so I think a lot of people started to realize this, and we talked a lot about it on social media. And so tinted sunscreens have really taken off, and that's one of the top skincare trends of 2020, in my opinion. I always recommend tinted sunscreens to my patients that have melasma or, or any form of hyperpigmentation, because if you can block all light that's causing hyperpigmentation or making it worse, then we can focus on treatments that will get rid of that hyperpigmentation. Big shift into tinted sunscreens, and I'm living for it. Some of my favorites are gonna be the Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen, which my wife loves, the Alta MD UV Clear Tinted Sunscreen, and the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen with Sheer Tint. So tinted sunscreens, I'm in for it. Next best trend of 2020, affordable skincare. I love this, I love this trend. This shift to brands like CeraVe, The Ordinary, The Inky List, these types of brands that are affordable and they're accessible to people, it removes that historical barrier where people felt that there was this really high entrance that you needed to reach to get into skincare. And that's how I felt when I got into skincare. I'm like, oh, I had to spend $200 on a moisturizer to have good skin. And that was sort of the vibe that everybody gave off was that you needed to really be spending a lot of money. But 2020 kind of marked the year where a lot of social influencers uh, through Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, focusing on cheaper skincare that's affordable, that's accessible. And maybe it doesn't have the prettiest packaging and maybe it doesn't smell the best. Uh, but it works, right? So CeraVe, The Ordinary, Cetaphil, Inky List. I love that these brands are starting to take off because these are brands that dermatologists, well, at least CeraVe, Cetaphil, Avino, these are brands that dermatologists historically have recommended to people because they're safe, they're gentle, and they work. Uh, the Ordinary and Inky List, these are somewhat newer brands, um, but really have exploded even more in into 2020. And Again, I'm here for it. So affordable skincare 2020. All right, next top skincare trend of 2020 is chemical exfoliation versus physical exfoliation. So I think this was happening a little bit before 2020, but I think it really has truly shifted to, to chemical exfoliation. And uh, of course, you know, brands like St. Ives, um, Apricot or Walnut Scrub, these types of things have gotten really a bad rap for for having sharp particles in them. And I did a video uh, on TikTok and Instagram where I showed kind of those sharp particles um, that can be in this and could potentially be damaging to the skin. St. Ives Walnut Scrub, a Dr. Shaw original investigation. In a recent New York Times article, the company claimed that the walnut shells are actually well polished and that the negativity online is way overblown. I decided to go to Walgreens to pick up a bottle because you all know that I'm banned from filming at CVS. I put a drop on a slide and I decided to check it out. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Fun fact, dermatologists use microscopes all the time. As you can see here, the particles are all different sizes and shapes, which is going to lead to an uneven exfoliation of the skin. 
Some of them are pointed and sharp like this one here, and others are large and irregular like this one here. Nice try, St. Ives, but do better next time. And also, it just doesn't cause is even enough of an exfoliation, a reliable enough exfoliation similar to, to chemical sunscreens, which, which tend to be much more reliable. And I also like the chemical sunscreens, you can almost cater to your skin type. So if you have oily or acne prone skin, you can go for a salicylic acid or BHA. If you have dry skin, you can go something like lactic acid. If you have kind of normal combination skin, glycolic acid is great for you. If you have sensitive skin, you can go for something like mandelic acid. And so this, this shift into chemical exfoliation, which is more precise and can be catered to your specific skincare concerns. Huge trend for 2020. Again, I'm here for it. A lot of brands have come out with great chemical exfoliants. All its choice comes to mind. They're liquid exfoliant. Deterium put out a whole line of acids that are all wonderful. The Inky List and the Ordinary have great exfoliating acids. Of course, the peeling solution exploded in 2020, so uh, that's always been a big one uh, that people seem to enjoy. So I'll put some product recommendations in the links. Uh, there'll be affiliate links, so they will help to support the channel. Uh, but I'll kind of show some of the products that I've liked from these trends. Fourth skincare trend that I'm all here for in 2020 is collaboration. And I think collaboration is always sort of there, but um, there was almost these silos of collaboration that would occur with this cross collaboration because now we can just kind of meet through Zoom or we can collab through a video conference. And so being able to have dermatologists, estheticians, chemists, skincare influencers, all sort of communicating with each other and collaborating together, that's something that's really taken off in 2020. And I'm all here for it. I think we're in this together. Uh, nobody is, is better than the other person. Everyone kind of has their own valid opinions. And I learned from literally everybody on social media. I, I can't try every product. I don't have experience with every product. I don't have the same skin type as everybody. And so I, I learned from everybody. And so see these collaborations really take off. I love it. I'm all here for it. And I hope that continues into 2021 because it's something I truly enjoy about 2020. All right. And the last trend that I've been loving is simple skincare routines. There was a point where skincare was this elaborate 10-step skincare routine and it would take hours and again that makes the barrier to entry so high because if you don't use any skincare products how are you gonna get into this 10-step skincare routine it's just not really plausible for a lot of people and so the shift towards simple skincare routines which I've been promoting since day one of getting on social media but routines that are set up like cleanse treat protect where you can have just simple uh, active ingredients that are effective against your particular concerns that are actually going to work for you and make your skin better. Skincare doesn't need to be so complex. I'm going to make it really easy for you guys. I'm going to continue making videos through, through 2021. So uh, it's been a big year for, for me as well uh, through TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. And I really just I can't thank you guys enough because I get to live my dream of educating people all across the world. And it's because you guys have supported me. You guys shared my content. Uh, you guys have told your friends about me and it really has helped my channels grow, but it's also helped me reach millions of people through education and people that don't have access to a dermatologist. And so it's been super rewarding for me, honestly. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for, for everything you've done in 2020 to to make skincare great and to also uh, support our channel and, and make it what it is. So, you know, without you, this channel, this channel is nothing. It's just, a, it's just me basically talking to myself. And so really appreciate you all. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you can to help continue letting this grow. Uh, but we hope to continue pushing out more content into 2021. And one of my big goals for 2021 is going to be to focus on sort of higher level medical content for you guys what we do in dermatology um and basically what you can expect if you, if you do come to see us and so that's going to be rolling out and i have a bunch of really exciting collaborations on the horizon with some people that i really admire and i think you guys will love them too and so so those are going to be rolling out into 2021 and the end of 2020 so stay tuned for that thank you all so much I'm gonna get you, 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 I